take a journey inside the womb and explore the amazing biology of twin pregnancy. Every month, a woman's ovaries prepare for pregnancy. Usually, only one egg is released during ovulation. If that egg meets a sperm cell, fertilization occurs and life begins, forming a zygote. This single cell carries all the DNA needed to become a baby. But nature doesn't always follow a single path. Sometimes a woman releases two eggs instead of one, and that's where the story of twins begins. When two separate eggs are fertilized by two separate sperm, they form fraternal twins. These twins grow in the womb at the same time, but they are as genetically different as any siblings. They could be two boys, two girls, or one of each. Fraternal twins have their own placentas and amniotic sacs. They may look alike or completely different. Identical twins begin with just one egg and one sperm. But soon after fertilization, the zygote splits into two embryos, forming identical twins. They share the same DNA, the same gender, and often look nearly identical. The timing of the split is important. If the egg splits within three days after fertilization, each twin develops their own placenta and amniotic sac. If the split happens later, they might share a placenta, and sometimes even the same sac. Doctors pay close attention to identical twin pregnancies, especially when structures are shared. In rare cases, the embryo doesn't split completely, and the result is conjoined twins. They are physically connected and may share organs. These cases are extremely rare and complex. There are also mirror image twins where the split happens later, and one twin becomes a reversed reflection of the other. Their hair whirls, handedness, and even organs can be mirrored. So, what increases the chances of having twins? Fraternal twins are more likely when there's a family history of twins, the mother is over 30, has had multiple pregnancies, or is using fertility treatments. These factors increase the chance of releasing two eggs, which can result in fraternal twins. Identical twins, however, happen randomly, and science still doesn't fully understand why. From the moment they begin developing, twins share a close connection. Whether they grow in separate sacs or share one, they often move in response to each other. Doctors monitor twin pregnancies closely. There's a higher risk of complications, so regular ultrasounds and prenatal visits are important. Some twins grow at the same rate. Others may differ slightly in size or development, and care is adjusted accordingly. But even before birth, their bond begins with touching, kicking, and sensing each other.